up guys welcome back to my channel those who are new to my channel i go by the name of and a warm welcome to our family so today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video where i'll be doing a makeup look getting ready to meet up with my friends so without any further ado i will start with prepping my face i'll be using the wet and wild prime serum this is a hydrating serum i don't know if you can see it I'm gonna use this to prep my face right before I start uh, applying the foundation. I'm not gonna use much of it because already the moisturizer I've used is quite a rich one. So I don't have to overdo it when it comes to my primer. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Now you guys, this foundation really I, there's nothing wrong with it the only bummer about this foundation is that it really transfers like that's about the only <laughs> bummer to this foundation this is the foundation i'm talking about it's also for it's also from wet and wild i you i'm using the color coca I'm gonna be using this brush to apply my foundation. I like using a brush to apply my foundation because it's got like a, flaw a flawless finish to it. Like as you can see, my gosh, the coverage of this foundation is bomb. It's just um, the transferring aspect of this. It's that's the only that's the only thing really that will would hinder me from buying this product again i mean there's nothing worse than hugging a person and leaving like a mark or a stain in their clothes or face like you <sighs> but all in all it's a beautiful foundation and i don't need to use a lot and then go on with my concealer now it's time to highlight that face baby girl i'll go in with this highlighter it's also from maybelline it's the fit me maybelline concealer in the color 40. it's not a bad concealer at all i love love it it just melts in your skin and you don't really have like struggle to blend it out also it's just also one of those amazing products you should really try it out so I can't wait you guys to go out with this with this set of friends because we've been like trying to meet up but something will always come up and we end up never meeting so it was so refreshing that we all were in the same page we all managed to clear our schedules and just finally come together <laughs> when you're blending like the concealer around or, or your eye it's best you look up the ceiling so the folded areas the slots underneath your eye you get to put product properly in it and then you're avoiding the cracks that cause that is caused after having applied the makeup Uh, it seems like a cool Sunday. It's chill. It's a bit cloudy outside, but that's like my favorite type of weather. Then off to setting or it's with the baking powder. The product I'm going to be using for this is the Revlon Candid Setting Powder. Using this type of brush, I will apply the setting powder. I'm going to apply the setting powder. As I go look at the ceiling so you can get the product in the creases of, the, of your under eye you 
yo guys another thing about me i do not have a license i just got a nipper in a bud and finally get one so now that i've done setting my highlighter i'm gonna go in and contour my face using this contour and glow palette from scarlet hill i'll start contouring my nose Most of the time, I like going in with a cream contour before I use powder, but I find this just works just as well. So I get the cream contour. So, I mean, whatever works best for you, really. I find that the best technique for this is to go in bit by bit with the product and not to go in once. Because when you go in once, it makes the thingy look very harsh on your skin. And then you spend a whole lot of hours trying to blend it out. So it's better when you just go bit by bit with the product until you get the desired look, obviously. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used. Uh, I'm going to like bronze my face using the same Scarlet Hill palette, but now I'm going to be using this color. Guys, if there's one thing about this palette, yo, I love love. Look at that. The bronzer just brings back life to your face. You know? So you must not miss this. Crystallized brow pencil from Essence. There's another one that I like using. I think it's this um, brow pro pen from Catrice. It's also the best product that you can use, and you can find it at the drugstore uh, discount as well as takealot.com. I, I bought this one at takealot.com. The nice thing about this Catrice one is that it's got this brush at the end so you can sort of like fix your bro heads so let me just go in with the essence one it's also not a bad bro pen let me just come closer so you can see i'll just be using the compact mirror because it's giving me a clear view as to what i'm doing <laughs> defined precise look 
Let me just close this. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. Concealer that I'll be using. As you can see, I gravitate toward this concealer like all the time. And hence why it is like five to the infinite. And then you go on here. <laughs> shadow look just because it's a chilled day i mean it's a sunday i'm not gonna go in with the heavy look it's just gonna be a neutral look so i'll be using a kind of soft black like, colors and your browns you know warm colors i'll be using the spice it up essence palette exposure as to what i'm doing Using circular motions, you then you're gonna be doing this. Again, it's best you go in bit by bit with the product until you get the desired look for yourself. Whatever it is you want to achieve. You guys look at this beautiful color though. It's not really a bad palette, it's not highly pigmented and it's not also you know, bad to work with. I honestly love the palette. I think you guys will love working with it as well. Honestly. Oh my gosh, I'm burning up. This light is really heating me up here. Eh? Which is using circular emotions you can do this. You can achieve this look. There we 
go. There we go. There we go. Then I'll be going in with this darker brown here. Just to intensify my eye. Using the same brush, I'm just looking for the transparent color. And you're gonna dab the color in. with that then I'm gonna use a much flatter brush like this one to draw the creases like a simple crease of the eye using the concealer that I used before to the other eye and do exactly the same thing. Alright, alright, alright. So Using the same flat brush, I'm going to go in with this little color here. I don't know what this color is. It's a bit bronzish. I'm going to go in and pack, in, pack it in where I've done the crease. Hold on. I'm going to pack it in like this. Do the same thing to your other eye. Go in with the packing back motion, but the diving motion. Pack it in there. Pack it in, child. I love how it's looking and then I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade here I'm 
now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna highlight my nose, the bridge of my nose, using the same contour and glow palette from Scarlet Hill that I used earlier on. The same color. that looks and then I highlight the bridge of my eyebrows and my cupid's bow Yes, baby. Yes, baby. I'm gonna set my makeup. Set me straight. Then I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones using this Better Than Gold um, highlighting pa palette from Catrice. Using this a brush like so. It is the bomber's palette. You need to try it out for yourself. My body met this skin. And then with this big fluffy brush right here, I'm gonna apply some color on my cheeks, baby. Love my cheeks. Kiss it with some color. I'm gonna stick on my lashes off camera and then come back with the final look for you guys. Guys, I'm back. I just finished sticking on my lashes and I put a bit of lip color on my lips using the Catrice Generation Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the color Purified and Dangerous Lips. So this is it for me today. I'll be looking like this. And thank you so much for getting ready with me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll check you later. Ciao. Thank you.